What intrigued you about uh, this art fit, art show with Puerco? Well, this art show seemed like a really cool idea, especially with the fact that Flair Code decided to combine art and music into one sort of like exposition sort of show, and I thought that was a really cool idea. Cool. Um, what kind of, uh, how is uh, combining the art and music and exposition um, different for like a company launch like us? Well, I think it really uh, shows the the way you guys uh, connect to like the community here, especially well the art community. I think it's that's like really different from any other company sort of launching in an area, especially as like diverse as Athens. So, yeah. cool. so uh, from just your knowledge, your experience, both for me and then just what you learned on your own, uh, what do you know or how do you feel about Flare Code right now? Well, I've. What I know about Flare Code, um, I've seen other sorts of. I get. I, are they called Flare Codes? Like in, in oh, original QR codes. The QR codes. I've seen them before, and um, I haven't really. I don't have a smartphone, so I've never really had any experience with them. But um, I had heard of the Flare Code company before, and I thought it really seemed like a cool idea, especially with what you guys were doing differently than other companies, and so. That's pretty much all I know, but yeah. <laughs> For sure. Um, how do you think uh, Flare Code uh, will affect your show um, here at the art show and then going forward with everything that you do with your music? Well, I think what it can do, especially with this show, is that it can really connect people to uh, not only your company, but like, like basically the art community in general here. Um, I think having a code that can connect people to the internet to get to my music quicker and easier, I think it's a really good idea, and I think it can really um, expand further on into the future. So.